Hi, I just wanted to show you a little utility that you may find useful. It's called Word Expander. And like the name says, when you start to type a word or phrase, it will expand it out. You can predefine these phrases. Uh, if you have boilerplate that you use a lot, it could be like an email address or your name or your company address, whatever it may be. Um, this is useful. There's other tools out there that are free as well that do the same thing, uh, such as Texter. That's a very popular one. Uh, but this is my current favorite. This comes from the uh, medical transcription world. They have a commercial product phrase expander that you know, has more features. Um, it has uh, some phrase libraries, which I don't find that useful because they're all you know, medical, go figure. Um, it also has English auto corrections. I don't use that either because uh, Word and a lot of different software in Windows already does that. And it does it probably a bit better. So I avoid that, but the basic uh, text expansion features are, uh, you know, well worth the price of admission, which is, again, free. So the next thing you're going to want to do is download it and install it. I'm not going to go into that too much here, but you click download, download it, and you can accept the defaults. You don't have to do anything special. Once you have it running, you'll also have the option of installing libraries. You would download those, and then it has a button you click to import it. I'm not going to go into that either because most people are not going to want the libraries. I don't personally use them. So I have it installed. It's running right here. Uh, I did some phrases already. I just put these in just as examples and get rid of this. Uh, what you do is you type, uh, you know, whatever you want it to be. This is a new one. So when I type the word, you know, new, and then it'll do something like this. So now when I type new, I hit the shift key, boom, this is new. It inserts it for me. So hopefully you can see some of the possibilities that you can do that. One of them is uh, for my name. I hit shift, there's my name. Uh, for my company address, I just start typing in the street number, hit shift, boom, there's my address. Uh, if you work with software like I do, uh, you can do uh, shortcuts for uh, common programming phrases and terms. Uh, optionally, too, you can use a special character so that you, you know, don't always have texture popping up when you don't want it. That's entirely optional, but here I have equal, and I start typing this. Here's some uh, Ajax code for PHP for a web page. A um, uh, very useful thing to do is canned responses. Like, for instance, we run a help desk, so I have different canned phrases. You know, we are looking into your problem, we'll get back to you, or whatever it is. Uh, in this case, uh, I use the equal sign again, CR for a generic canned response I just made up. Hit the shift key, and dear associate, say if you're the HR department, thank you for contacting us. We have already assigned a representative, you know, blah, blah. So hopefully uh, you have some use for this. Uh, if so, this is a great uh, way to go. It can save you a lot of time, and especially for canned responses. Frankly, that's mostly what I use it for. And also, I, I work with Linux a lot, so I do have a lot of canned phrases when I'm working with a, with a Linux uh, terminal, which you may or may not need. So at any rate, that's text, uh, not Texter, but Word Expander. And you can also use Texter. That's another one again. I used to use that, but uh, currently this is my favorite. Good luck. Thanks.